Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy CJ Robinson Jr. Let's get started. A a several month investigation and arrest of multiple suspects has ended in the death of a deputy. The Washington County Sheriff's Office released a statement saying it started Thursday morning when 17 individuals were brought into the jail after arrest warrants were were served. They say one of the rest, Ethan Jamalin Henderson, became uncooperative and aggressive towards attention detention staff. And Henderson then got into a fight with a deputy sheriff, Kyle Davis, working at the detention center. Davis suffered an injury and was taken to Jane Phillips emergency room, where they say resuscitation efforts were not successful, according to the release. According to the affidavit, excuse me, y'all, can't pronounce that one. Henderson bond, Henderson's bond is set for five hundred thousand dollars. He is supposed to appear in court on April twenty sixth. Deputy Davis began his law enforcement career with the Washington County Sheriff's Office in January two thousand eight as a jailer dispatcher. Deputy Davis was promoted to deputy sheriff in 2010 and since that time has worked as a field deputy and transport courthouse security deputy. Deputy Davis had been currently assigned as the detention center's day shift supervisor. Deputy Davis held the rank of corporal. Deputy Davis holds a bachelor of arts degree in history from the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma. Deputy Davis is a graduate of Copen High School and was an avid hunter and loved to fish. Deputy Davis had a heart of gold and could always bring a smile to your face. Deputy Davis leaves behind a wife, two children, and a host of family, which includes his law enforcement family. The person who became aggressive with the deputy was arrested for in the Edwin to manufacture a controlled dangerous substance and had a bond of $175,000 set on the arrest warrant. This is an ongoing investigation and the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation, OSBI, has been requested to lead the investigation. The 11th Judicial District Attorney's Office is working with the OSBI as well as the BPD in this investigation. Acting U.S. Attorney Clint Johnson has released the following statement on the tragedy. On the tragedy, on behalf of the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Oklahoma, I extend my heartfelt condolences to the family of Corporal Kyle Davis, who served his community and law enforcement for 13 years. We stand with you and with the men and women of the Washington County Sheriff's Office, and mourning. A tremendous loss. Members of law enforcement purposely risk their lives each and every day. They go to work so that we all can live in the safety and security of our homes. And communities. My condolences goes out to the sheriff and his friends and family and the law enforcement as well. (sighs) Well, this guy's done for y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell button for more content. With that being said, stay safe, stay COVID free, stay blessed. Knowledge is power. And make sure y'all smash that like button and show your boy some love and support. You all have a good night. It's your boy CJ signing out.